Mr. Cook to uh, the Long Shot hand, uh, Home Brew Contest. Thank you for coming with us today. Hey, it's it's a good beer. How can I stay away? It's good beer. Uh, well, I just have a few questions for you. That's fine. Um, so how did you get your start in Colorado? Well, uh, I came out to the Great American Beer Festival in 1985 with uh, my beer. And the whole company was two people. Wow. Nobody ever heard of Sam Adams. And we got picked as the best beer in America wow. at the Great American Beer Festival in 1985. And that kind of helped put us on the map. And, and more than that, it made people think about beer differently. Because we went around and we said, Sam Adams is the best beer in America. And until then, people hadn't really thought about beer as something uh, that had quality differences. You know, back in the early 80s, beer was just beer. You know, nobody thinks about, is Coke better than Pepsi? Uh, or better than Mountain Dew? Or is Sprite better, you know, than Sierra Mist? It was, beer was treated like soda pop. Uh, and the idea that there were quality differences in beer was a really important uh, element of Sam Adams' success, the only one he had I was a year old when you won that, so... Uh, wow, well you've aged nicely. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so why is Colorado special to you? Well, partly because of uh, the Great American Beer Festival. We went on to be uh, picked as the best beer in America for four years running. And that was kind of cool. Uh, also, Colorado was uh, the center of the homebrewing movement. The American Homebrew Association began in Boulder, remains in Boulder, and a lot of the roots of craft brewing are in homebrewing. I made the first batches of Sam Adams in my kitchen 26 years ago. Um, well, so why do you choose Marlowe's every year for your homebrew uh, contest? Well, Marlowe's and the whole sort of Paramount group was uh, one of the first restaurants in Denver to have faith in this weird little beer that came from Boston and nobody had ever heard of, had a taste that was different from anything anybody had ever had before. And you guys had faith in the quality of my beer almost 25 years ago. So uh, this is a happy home for us. Well, the first most important thing that I had to take on my trip, mountain climbing, was beer. <laughs> and I forgot the second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I actually took uh, two bottles of Sam Adams Boston Lager uh, to the top of Aconcagua. It's the highest mountain in South America. It's about 23,000 feet. And I had to sleep with them in my sleeping bag so they wouldn't freeze and carry them in my parka. And I got up to 23,000 feet. And you know, what are you going to do at the summit but have a beer? Um, well, this is an interesting question for you. Uh, is it true that when your two youngest were born that you uh, kind of swooped them up for mom and put beer on their lips? Well, I don't want to have any comment, but, you know, when you think about this poor child, and they're getting at nothing but that nasty formula for months and months, so it would be a good idea to give that poor child hope that there's something better in their future, like maybe a good beer. Well, that was very gracious of you. <laughs> um, well, last question. Uh, what is your prediction for the Jets versus the Patriots game one? That's by three. That's by three? Yeah. I'm sure. I, mean, I make beer. I, you know, if I could predict NFL games, I wouldn't have to work for a living. Well, thank you. Thank you. Cheers.